Hello guys, and I'm back for my next weather science environment experiment. So I've come up with an experiment from the weather science, and this experiment is the greenhouse effect and global warming. And it's almost that the kit includes thermometers, which is good. And uh, actually it's not the global warming, but it's some kind of like the lights. For example, it doesn't work on the sun, but it only works on the lights. Now let me tell you what you need. You need vinegar, again, baking soda, and a real small spoon like this. For a uh, waste one, but a coffee spoon. Almost like a coffee spoon, you can use the coffee spoon half a bit. A plastic bottle empty without a cap. Okay, now from the kit, you, from the thermometer bag, you need the thermometers, two thermometers, and from the gray bag again, <laughs> again and again these things work. You need the, the thermometer arm and two of the thermometer's holders. Let me show you how to make it. From weather science environment experiment. Okay, so first you get your bottle and get your thermometer arm and the thermometer holders and the thermometers. Now pick your thermometer holders one of the holder and take the thermometer and see this pointy thing I think it's for a hanger slide it in through the bottom and it'll fit like this and do the same with the next thermometer and its holder now take the thermometer arm and see this is a cap it fits with the bottle so Insert the insert the stick until it reaches the square thing thingy and press it in. Okay, this is and then you will hear a tick sound which means it's locked. Do the same with the next thing, but then you won't hear a tick sound. Okay, let me do the straight, straight and straight and straight and straight and now the cap side put it in the bottle and close the cap. Okay. Here that's now you get a pencil and write down the temperature shown on thermometer. 23 and if it's out, write an O, D. And if it's in, write down I, D, 30 for me. 30 is in the in the bottle and outside the bottle is 23. So see there are different temperatures, outdoor and indoor. So take your bottle out under the sunshine and then, or you could put the, put it on the desk and take, take, your, take your desk lamp and shine the desk lamp over these, but it should not be directly towards the thermometer so the thermometer bulb doesn't get fused. So now I've, I've waited 20 minutes. You have to wait 20 minutes. I waited 20 minutes. So now I'll write down. I'll write down the temperature shown on the thermometers. Let me write it now. Outside is 25 outside it means this is outside and this is inside 
So now we have to go back indoors and then and then let me show you what to do next. Now I've waited 10 seconds. Now you have to return the arms back into the bottle. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. All this happening. And then two spoon, two teaspoons of vinegar. And clean this up. Which will be about my four spoons. Ooh, half a teaspoon. One teaspoon. One and a half a teaspoon. Ooh. Two teaspoons of vinegar. Yeah. But you have to use four teaspoons of vinegar. Okay, now shake the bottle gently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now wait ten seconds. Now you have to wait twenty seconds uh, until the temperature fixes with the baking soda. The baking soda and the vinegar react together to make a gas called carbon dioxide. And this mixes with the air in the bottle. Carbon dioxide is good at trapping heat. It traps some of the heat that passes through the bottle. So this time the temperature in the bottle rises higher as I knew. This shows that adding carbon dioxide into the air in the bottle makes the air trap more heat. This is what is happening in the Earth's at atmosphere. We are adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere which is causing the phenomenon of global war. So it means that we have finished our experiment. Okay, so it's saying this time has the temperature in the bottle raised more than it did the first time. All right, yes. See, because in Fahrenheit 25 is almost like less, almost like 70 and more and 25 okay inside 40 the lesson we learned from this whole experiment is that we are tra trapping heat and we are polluting more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and the earth the thing we're doing is that the carbon dioxide is going to the atmosphere and it's causing global warming to the earth which is not good now let me tell you some fun facts about this experiment. It's also not good, but sometimes it's also fun. The fun facts are written on the book, and I'm going to repeat them to you as written. Carbon dioxide is known as a greenhouse gas. Boring, not fun. Other greenhouse gases include water vapor and methane which is also a greenhouse gas. The, me the methane is a greenhouse gas. Global warming is the slow warming of the atmosphere. It is happening because we are adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide comes from burning fossil fuels, oil, gas and coal. 
and from cutting down forests, which also reduces oxygen. The average temperature of the atmosphere has, a, has risen by about half a degree Celsius since the year 1900s. Melting gla glaciers and retreating ice around the North Pole are visible signs of global warming. And the carbon dioxide is causing more, gr more global, global warming to the atmosphere and it can it can cause more global warming to the polar to the polar sides and some things are useful which are even not good for the global warming for example the fossil fuel it's it's used for cars which we use to drive far places but it's good and also not good the good thing is we can travel far and by walking, we're very tired. But the bad thing is, we're causing more carbon dioxide. Animals are dying because of global warming, and lives are quickly reducing from the Earth. For example, if you ever knew that global warming is happening, you have to, you have to, you have to take a visible, and an extremely visible sign through the polar sites and it can tell you if the ice is melting. Since the 1900s, the ice is melting and the global warming is more and more uh, working on to, to reduce lives from the earth. Okay, so thank you for, for watching my next video from the weather signs environment and please like share and subscribe this video and please give us suggestions and comments every time i say them in the videos but actually it's useful because i get to know who really likes the experiments and i also want to see who has a hard time who has a hard time using these experiments so please leave your comments and suggestions and if you have any hard time making these please tell me what i did wrong or anything if you notice anything wrong about me you can leave them in the comments so thank you and share my video like my video and subscribe my channels goodbye thank you